it's fun. It's really fun to play together. Everybody's excited about each other, and uh, you can yell at each other. And then next two minutes, it's all fine. You get the next stop or next play, and uh, that's that's a good thing. And it's such a committed group that uh, wants to achieve something uh, as a unit, and um, that's as close as as I've experienced it here. Michigan. Duncan was saying that it's new. There's a lot of new guys. Around. Oh yeah. Does that kind of help get you going a little bit more? Saying so kind of re rekindle the fire. Well, mm, I, yeah. It's all, every season is kind of rekindle the fire a little bit, but it's 11 of our guys are like freshmen, sophomores, so it's like kind of a new generation coming up. Yeah. You add Jerron to that, who's a graduate transfer that makes 12, so there's um, definitely a little bit of that effect. But I wouldn't say. I mean, you start somewhere new every year in college because that's just the way it is. Um, so, yeah. Do you have a favorite player growing up? I had a couple favorite players growing up. Um, my absolute favorite player was Kevin Burnett. Why is that? Uh, it was less about the basketball aspect. It more about how crazy he is, how committed he is to getting better in basketball in general. You can just really tell that he loves basketball. And, um, yeah. I really like Boston to the Celtics, so that's why I like it. What did you learn from last year about yourself, would you say? Wow, that's a deep question. Uh, about myself, I think, wow, I can write you an essay about that. It'll take a little longer. One thing, man, I mean, I really love basketball. I really love about being around people. and. I feel like that I work a lot better in a positive surrounding. Um, that's something I'm conscious about now. Um, that I have to give myself a positive attitude every time. And it won't work if I complain or anything like that. So that's definitely something I don't want. You've mentioned youth a few times. You, know, you said that you don't, you're not like focused on being a leader specifically or anything like that. Um, but offensively, you all said offense comes around a little bit later. Do you feel like because you've been here and you've been talking to some of the guys who have more experience, it's more on you guys to offensively especially? Uh, I wouldn't say that. That's the beautiful thing about this offense, that when you play it, everybody has the same amount of shots to, to finish, you know? I think it's more on us to, to give the other players a chance to learn it and to communicate it and uh, to teach it all more because it can only be the coach to teach that offense. It's going to be all of us, and especially new guys that are a little more experienced. But I wouldn't say just because we know it better, we can score more because the offense doesn't take, when you don't know it, doesn't take away talent or confidence at all. It's just, it's just a frame within, within you can experience yourself a little bit. So um, it's on us to teach it. You mentioned that you know, you're not going to surprise anybody this year. You see, we're going to pass it. Have you ever been kind of a a situation like that where, where you're kind of the main focus with one other team's are again. That's what I just said. It's kind, of, it's kind of weird because nobody asked me that ever before. Because every time that would have been the case, I kind of went to the next step, you know, the next place. So not really. Uh, it's something I'm really embracing, but I don't really want to overthink that at all. And, because that's just not my approach. I play basketball because I love it. And it's been like that for my entire life. So just because the role's a little different now, I'm not going to have a mindset to change. Well, a lot, of, a lot of people said this team is going to take a while to emerge over time. And yet their schedule, you're looking at North Carolina here in early December and jumping into the Big Ten. How much time is it going to take for this team to gel? What are the key things to make it gel? Um, I think be solid defensively and rebounding, and then offensively to make good decisions. Those are the three things that, so don't turn it over. Those are the three things that I think are going to carry us um, in the beginning and going to give us a good base. As long as we do those things well in the beginning, um, we're, going, we're going to be fine and build up. Somewhat, uh, Michigan's been criticized as a program in the past for not being consistently physical and rebounding throughout the game. Are you seeing, I mean, with you being a very physical player, do you think this team can, uh, can switch that uh, DNA somewhat, a little bit? Um, with Charles, Matthews obviously part of yeah. that. Yeah, I didn't think about that that way last year either, to be honest with you. I mean, 
a soft team that doesn't rebound and doesn't play defense and isn't physical, doesn't win a Big Ten championship. So um, I'm not really agreeing with that. So um, yeah, uh, of course. I mean, we're very flat, we're very strapped this year, long, uh, disturbing, with, with, or bothering with our with our arms. So. We're going to be fine. And which of the new of the new en entries to your team this year who stands out? I mean, I know you don't. I know they all have probably their features and benefits, but who has really got your attention? The new guys. Just in general, yeah, or in just, terms of yeah. Obviously, honestly, they're all really good. I think Eli's doing a great job as a point guard a little bit. Um, even though he's a freshman, picking up the system, and he's playing very smart basketball. Um, Jerome is doing a good job. Uh, Charles, Charles obviously has the advantage of being here already for a year, so he kind of knows a little bit of how it's going. But he's doing a good job too on the defensive end, especially, and um, and shooting wise. So. I mean, I could make, I could say something about everything, everybody, but Azir, Azir's going to get there, and JP too, so I'm, I have no concerns. Thank you. What have you seen from the young bigs now that they're going to have to back you off? They didn't really play much last year. Does that put more pressure on you to stay out of foul trouble? Do you think they're ready? Um, I mean, I don't think that's any pre The biggest pressure for me is always the one coming from, from myself anyway, so... That was there last year too, my mm -hmm. freshman year, so that doesn't really change, to be honest with you. Obviously, um, Mark isn't here anymore, and that makes three of us now instead of four of us, which is a smaller group to work us with. Um, but we're working together as a unit, and um, it's a lot of fun, it's very competitive. And, um, I think we're going to figure that out. What do you think flight's still a thing? 